Hello everybody, and today I'm going to show you how to make a laser pointer in Roblox Studio that can be blocked using blocks or boxes and parts. So you can see normally when we walk into it, we'll die, but when we walk into it with, when we push this block in front of it, it blocks the laser so we can walk through, but we still die if we go between it if we will between them. So, let's start. Um, okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make our laser pointer, which is just gonna be a cylinder. And we're gonna make a point for the laser pointer to point at, because a laser pointer can't point just into the void, because if it does that, it doesn't load and process. So we're just gonna make a big part for it to aim at. Now inside of the actual laser pointer itself, I'm first gonna name it laser pointer. You can see on the right in the explorer tab. Now we're gonna insert an attachment, another attachment, a script, and a beam. And we're gonna name attachment. The first one we're gonna name it moving attachment. And the second one we're gonna name aiming gut attachment. So, now that we've done that, we can, we need to actually aim our aiming attachment. So you'll see when we click the rotate button while we have the aiming attachment selected, it will appear like this. And when we, now, um, if we want it to be facing, I want it to be facing this direction. So what we're gonna do is it's actually facing um, in this direction. You can see where I'm facing. Um, so we're gonna rotate it like this. And in order to find out where the, it's facing, the best way to find it out is to try, or if you, or actually an easier way to find out is to use world orientation in the properties tab where you have the aiming attachment selected. You can see orientation, and when you're facing the front, um, when you're facing when the um, cube at the top right says back, that means you're actually facing the front. It um, that means that, and that would be a zero zero zero, the orientation. When it's facing right, or when it says it's facing, when it shows left, that would be as you can see. Um, wait, hold on. That would be zero negative ninety zero. Um, this would be ninety or zero ninety or zero. And there's like it's just like that. You can just use that kind of stuff to aim. But basically, where the red circle and green circle are um, overlapping, one of those points is going to be where it's aiming. So now that we have that, we're going to make the beam, which is going to be what the laser actually looks like. I'm going to make it red. And also, you can adjust um, the thickness of it. I'm gonna make it 0 0.3 and 0 0.3. And well, now we need to make our laser, or our beam, which is gonna render the laser. We're gonna make attachment zero in its property tabs. We're gonna make that um, moving attachment. We're gonna make prop or attachment one in its property tab. We're gonna make that aiming attachment. All right, let's actually make this. So we're gonna make local laser params equals request params dot new. And so these are basically a few different things that you can mess with about the lasers. You can make their filter type and say, I want to make it so that it doesn't hit. Um, if I want to make it so that it doesn't hit this part, what I would do would be filter type equals um enum dot um I believe raycast filter type dot and then blacklist blacklist would mean that as you can see um this everything in the game will be considered except for the part that is in like that is in the raycast filter so say if I want to make it so that it um avoids this part in the explore tab. I'm gonna make it blacklist and then 
laser params dot filter descendant instances equals and then curly braces and then game dot workspace dot parts and this would basically just this would make it so that it couldn't hit the part because it's blacklisted and if I wanted to make it so that the only thing it could hit would be the parts I can do whitelist and it would only hit the part but I'm not going to use any of this stuff you can if you want you also have other things such as ignore water collision group and brute force or slow which you can go you can look online they sh people show you what they do now we're going to load in the attachments or we're going to make them variables so local um moving attachment equals script dot parent dot moving attachment and local aiming attachment equals script dot parent dot aiming attachment all right now we have both of the attachments moving and aiming so we have those variables so that we can reference them easily now we're going to do while true do which is a permanent loop this loop will run forever unless it's broken and now we're going to actually make it so that the game um, calculates the laser. So we're going to do local ray equals game dot workspace dot or colon raycast. And then we're going to do for the parameters to this function, we're going to do moving or sorry, script dot parent dot position, specifically script dot parent dot position not any of these attachments if you say as an attachment it will not work you have to do it as this part now we're gonna also we need to put in aiming attachment dot c frame dot look vector times 5000 the 5000 means that it can look 5000 studs away and this part's basically just um its orientation that way we know the right direction for the laser to face Alright, now we're going to end it up with laser parameters. Um, for me, I actually don't need to put this because I didn't edit any of them. But if you did edit them, you definitely want to put laser params. Now we're going to do um, moving attachment or if ray then. <laughs> so this will basically check if ray exists. So if ray exists then. And then we're going to change the moving attachment's position. Because moving attachment's basically going to be where the laser is pointing. So we need to make the moving attachment be set to where the laser is pointing. So dot position equals ray dot position. But we can't leave it off here because the attachment's position is relative to the parts that it's inside of so we need to do minus script dot parent dot position because if we do this then we can cancel out the fact that it's relative to its parents position so now we'll be able to actually make it so that the attachment goes to a specific point in the world finally we're gonna do um, if ray dot instance Called, called find, or no, not done. Parent, call and find first child, humanoid, does not equal nil, then copy that, dot health equals zero. And this will just set in any player that walks through it. It'll set their health to zero. So now we're going to insert a part just so that we can test to make sure that we can block the laser. Alright, let's do a test. So, when we start off, if we touch the laser, we die, which is exactly what we want it to be like. And if we move a part in front of it, we block it. So we can still walk through. But if we walk into the laser, we still die. So yeah, now it works. You can duplicate this laser pointer easily. 
you can just um, go like this to make more or say you want to make some like a four-sided or say like a double laser or like a four-sided laser or something well now I have a four-sided laser pointer so like um, it's not actually working that well because um, it's you kind of can't really just make it like that but yeah it's cool how this works so yeah thank you for watching and goodbye if you wanted to make more lasers you would have to do it um you couldn't do it during the game or while it's running you would have to do it outside the game running so yeah thank you for watching goodbye and i hope this was useful to you